was the first proper production model from Koenigsegg in 2002. The company made just six examples, which were enough to establish it as the new force in the hypercar class. At just 3.5 seconds not to 60 and a top speed of 240 miles per hour, it was one of the fastest land vehicles of the period and truly a showstopper engine and put two big superchargers on it, resulting with 664 horsepower. But still, it was the same block of displacement on building a lightweight chassis, suspension and bodies than on constructing their own engines. Over the years, Lotus has used engines from the 3.5-litre Toyota engine with or without the supercharger. The exciting part is that this 3.5-litre V6, known as the 2GRFE, is the same unit used in many ordinary Toyota models all over the world. With 276 horsepower on tap, this motor can be found in Camry sedans, the Highlander SUV, and the Lexus ES350. The supercharged version, which delivers over 400 horsepower, is a bit more special, but it still has the same engine which powers your neighbor's Toyota Sienna minivan. Number 3 debuted in 2002, sports car lovers all over the world rejoiced. Finally, a proper two-door, two-seater sports coupe with a powerful V6 up front and rear-wheel drive. A lot of praise went into its 3.5-litre V6 engine, called the VQ35DE, which delivered 290 horsepower and exhilarating performance. However, not many people know that this engine was also used in a vehicle on totally the opposite side of the car 2010, spectrum. Renault produced very few of those performance people carriers with the 350Z's engine, which was slightly detuned to 245 horsepower. Noble However, was one of those small but very interesting manufacturers, which produced fantastic cars but never evolved beyond kit car recognition. To be honest, this is a shame, since Noble's cars are brutally fast creations that can put some very famous names to shame. This is precisely what the M12 is. The interesting With thing about this car is the fact that it uses a 2.5-litre Ford Duratec V6 engine, commonly found in almost all Mondeos, S-Max and Fusions all over the world. Of course, Noble installed twin turbochargers to achieve such power, but still, the majority of the engine is totally the same as in an ordinary The Dutch Mondeo. company is famous for producing insane roadsters with ludicrous power and tuned to achieve 340 to 380 horsepower. This standard engine is used all over Audi's model range. Due to the fact it is relatively small and turbocharged, it is easily tunable, and this is exactly why Donkervoort uses it. So, there you are. Can you think of any other hero cars with humble engines? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like or dislike the video.